Hey, hello guys, this is Karthik from ExilAutomation.com and today we're going to talk about Visual Studio Emulator for Android and configuring it with Eclipse. So we have already discussed about Visual Studio Emulator for Android in greater detail in our previous videos of this general playlist of Exit Automation channel. So if you want, please go back and watch the video from the general playlist of this Exit Automation channel. So today we're going to discuss about configuring with Eclipse. So let's start to configure Visual Studio Emulator to work with your Eclipse since Eclipse doesn't recognize your Visual Studio Emulator out of the box. For that, we need to change the following and these are the steps. So to configure your Visual Studio Emulator for Android to work with Eclipse, first you need to change the run configuration and then you need to add them to the external tools and also you need to add the Android SDK path in regedit if you don't install the Android SDK as an EXE rather if you just unzip that into your machine right so we'll just quickly walk through each of these steps one by one and see how it works so I'm going to flip to my Eclipse so this is my Eclipse IDE and this is one of my calculator application which I already developed in my video series you can find this application's development in my Android app automation with Robotium playlist of Exit Automation channel. Right? So, this particular application is an Android application. Right? If we want to run this application, you can see that you can always run this application using Android SDK emulator. But rather, I'm going to change it to run this with my Visual Studio emulator for Android right so for that what I'm going to do is first I need to go to the run and then change the run configuration so click the run configuration and go to the target so as you can see here the target is automatically picking to the compatible device which is available in my Android SDK right so this is available in your Android ritual device manager if you just select this you can see that the Android virtual devices it just lists all the virtual devices you have right and this will automatically pick up if you start running it rather I'm going to change the run configuration from automatic to always prompt to pick the device right just hit apply and close it and then the second thing we need to change is the external tool for that just go to the external tools from run and select the external tools configuration menu and here go to the program and right click and select new so here you have to somehow give the location of your emulator command so this emulator command is available in your c colon program files so for that i'm going to navigate to the c colon program files right now and uh, let's go to the program files and here you have something called Microsoft emulator manager just open this and then here you have something called emulator command.exe so we'll talk about emulator command.exe in a minute because we need to get something called as SKU so we'll talk about that one as well so let me first get the path so I'm going to select this and I'm going to copy this path and let me again go to Eclipse and go to the location and just paste this and then we need to set the arguments so the argument is going to be the SKU as we already told so for that go to the command prompt and then type a command emulator cmd dot exe list slash SKU colon Android slash type device oops I think type colon device and now you can see that it shows me the two device which I have in my Android emulator of Visual Studio so these are the only two device which I have installed into my emulator right so these two emulators SKU is right now available for me right 
So what I can do is I can just copy the one which is running in my machine. So I'm going to copy this SKU. And then I'm just going to minimize them. And here in the argument, just type the SKU colon Android space launch space slash ID colon the SKU that you copied. Just hit apply. And again, here I just forgot one more thing. Here we can give a good name for this. Maybe PS emulator for Android. Just hit apply and hit close. Now let's try to run and see how it works. So if I just try to run the application, so I'm going to run and run as Android application. And now you can see that it will ask me the Android device chooser. And you can see that the emulator which is running for me is not being displayed into my external tools. It sometimes happens if you don't install the Android SDK in an EXE, rather if you just unzip that into any of your path, right? So for that, we need to create a registry entry into your machine. So I'm going to register it. And I need to navigate to my HKey local machine and go to softwares and go to wow 6432 node. And here there is no folder for me stating Android SDK tool, something like that, right? So I need to create one. So I'm going to create a new key. So I'm going to give a name as Android SDK tools. And I'm going to add a new value called path. And this path, I'm going to give my SDK path. So this is my SDK path. So I'm going to just copy this and I'm going to paste it right here. That's it. And just close this. But still, it won't be detected. So I'm going to close my emulator. Even if you try to run this from your Eclipse right now, it won't detect. So you need to restart your emulator first. All right, I'm going to close this. And I'm going to open the Visual Studio emulator for Android once again. And I'm going to boot the operating system once again. Since the booting is very fast compared to Android SDK, I don't have any problem to close and open it because we used to have a real hard time while trying to do the same with Android SDK's emulator because it will be very, very slow. All right, the operating system is booted. So once again, I'm going to the Eclipse and then again, I'm going to select the Runners Android application. And now you can see that our emulator is listed. Awesome, right? So if I select this and hit OK, you can see that my application will be installed into this emulator and it just booted up. That simple it is. So now you can do whatever you want to do. And it just performs pretty fast. And this is really a lightning fast and it feels like I'm working in a real device rather a emulator itself. And you can see how fast the transition is happening. So this is how you can configure your Visual Studio emulator for Android with Eclipse. So that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.